What's up? Back for another one. Oh. I'm the king, the whiskey king. This is my jester. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. What the? Last video we did was New York Rye, so we're gonna do another video with some New York Rye. This is Kev's personal favorite for the price. Similar to the last video, we were talking about terroir, in case those of you who didn't see it, it is full farm to glass, yes. creating a scenario where you have a unique flavor that can only be found at that specific area because they're putting so much love and effort into everything they do. And growing the grain, floor malting, distilling it, everything possible to control the whole entire scenario to create a unique flavor profile that blasts you on the back of the throat. He likes to be blasted on the back of the throat. Are you serious? Blasted on the back of the throat with the flavor. Yeah. It's in New Paltz, New York. It's called Copper Sea. Okay. Now, they call this a Heritage Methods distillery. They do everything old school with tremendous amount of effort and love. All right? And you can really taste it. Personally, I think there's two things that separate him, which is the true fire copper pot still and the open wood fermentation tanks. So you get the ambient yeast and bacteria of the Hudson Valley into the glass. Now this one is their rye, which has been finished in a PX Sherry, a Pedro Jimenez Sherry cask finish. It's incredible. Okay, we're gonna probably do a bottle kill. You can tell we really like this one. I got a bunch more in the shelf, so don't worry. With that out of the way, we're going to the Jester now to see what he thinks. Tell me why it's your favorite. Let's hear it. There's no, no other whiskey I've ever found that tastes like this. When we were there and we tried this for the first time, this dude creamed his pants. All right, we're at Copper Sea. Kev's drinking the old sherry cask. What do you think? Sherry cask. <laughs> Sounds like you're having some leakage in your pants. What do you think? Very good. If you've never tried this before, you're fucking up. Don't be a fuck up. So, if you're a new box, stop by Copper Sea, get a bottle, you won't regret it. We highly recommend it. Uh, yeah. It's very, very good. Don't fuck up. So, if you're into whiskey and you don't have this in your collection, what do you think? Alright, let's do it. Tell me about it. What do you think? What do you get on the nose? For me, it's that classic sherry bomb. Like similar, if anyone in here is a scotch, like a scotch, a scotch fan, like Macallan, they're really good. I knew this one idiot who used to call it Macallan. It's like, hey, hey, what's up, Macallan? I'm like, what? It's not Macallan, it's Macallan. Anyway, they use sherry and you could smell it, it's sherry bomb. One thing me and him have noticed also is that if you've been drinking whiskey for a while, or say you go to a whiskey fest, and by your third or fourth pour, your palate could be burnt out. The one thing we've oh, noticed yeah, with copper sea, yeah, there's so much that. flavor that you could still taste it even if your palate is burnt. Where a lot of the other ones, because they're so similar in flavor, um, they kind of just get lost, and you don't taste it. They all start to taste the same. So. Let's taste that terroir. Fuck! Fuck! This is one of his favorites. Ah! Copper Sea and Hell Rock, my two favorite New York stillers, period. 100%. One of my personal favorites. Bang for bang. Mm. You know, you're banging out a bottle, you want to get this one. Now we're doing this back to back. We just did the Hell Rock. I do like the Hell Rock slightly better, but the Hell Rock's more expensive. However, they're both incredibly different. And unique. The Hill Rock has a little bit longer finish, but this one has a blast of sherry flavor. So uh, the Hill Rock is not a cask finish whiskey where this one is, so it's kind of in a different category. Um, <clears throat> but it really depends on what you're in the mood for. I would never want to have my personal room here without either on my shelf. Again, Copper Sea and Hill Rock both do the concept of farm to glass terroir with whiskey. Fuck. And I really appreciate these guys. Cheers to both of you. Yo, you guys knocked it out of the park with Cheers, this. Bud. So Yo, for me, it's- One of my favorite bottles ever. It's Sherry Bomb. That dude, with, top, a lot, with a lot of fruits. 
top five fucking bottles. It's in the top five. There's this interesting kind of funkiness or backbone or whatever you want to call it, whatever adjective you want to say that each you know, copper seed bottle back. has that I could tell from either smelling it or drinking it, like, yo, that's a copper seed. And that's how you know he's doing something very unique. I could do the same for Hill Rock too. But there's some distilleries where each bottle, you can't tell that they're similar. Like these are super small batch stuff and they're putting tremendous effort and love. It's not like some idiot in his garage. These guys are like skilled craftsmen that love what they do and are passionate about it. And you can tell. Cheers, boys. It's really fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how fast did you finish this when you got it? Is it empty? It's, uh... He just picked up a bottle. Is it empty? Let's hear it. It's, uh, it's, it's almost empty. Where you always get a Yeah, he can't stop drinking it. I he really he can't. loves it. I, I, I can't. He loves it. I can't stop drinking it. I love this bottle. Yo, show that to the camera. I love this bottle. So it's Copper Sea Rye. Let's see on the side. Sherry love Cat. this bottle. It's 46.2%. Uh, he, he waters it down a little bit before it goes into the barrel, that way he doesn't really have to water it much. Fuck! But even with that said, there's so much flavor still, even though it's technically not a, a cast strain, it's incredible. Very good for what he Fuck! Is. He loves this one. Oh. There's oh. Something, something with his palate and this oh. bottle, it's like his personal favorite. Oh. oh, by the way, in case you want to know if I'm representing or not, Yo, yo, yo. Represent. Represent Copper C. Represent Copper C. Represent Copper C. Represent Copper C. So, New Paltz, check it out. They have a cool tasting room. Right now in the summer, they're making some whiskey slushies. They have a lot of other bottles, and they do a lot of weird stuff too. Like one of them, they do uh, this bottle with 100% barley and it's unkiln dried barley, which they call green malt. They uh, named it after oh, this guy anus. used to work there. Yeah, it's not the, he calls it the big anus, but it's not, it's a big so Angus. Close. He just pronounces it a little off, because he's the jester, come on. It's so unique, you should try it, it's different. Unlike anything you've ever tried. You may not, like, may not be personally for you, but I like it, and it's you, you really can different. You really taste the terror in that yeah, yeah, it's really he's unique. Great. He thinks they're all terrorists. They, they are fucking making bomb. It's incredible. Fucking whiskey. Yeah, dude. Yeah, this Cheers. whiskey is the bomb.